This is a walkthrough of the Pulsal Puzzle Room number two, a bit more complicated than the first one. I'm at the Transfiguration Classroom from the Astronomy Wing. From that flu flam, uh, flame location, we're gonna go through the big door here to the left. Not the little one, Brian, the big one, there we go. Take the door to the left here immediately and then just follow this back to where the button is that you're gonna use the Pulsal on to reveal the secret room. Now completing this, of course, is going to award you with a collection chest. So if you're going for all the trophies, you'll need these. All right, so inside of here, we have two different rooms, as opposed to the first time we had just one single room. This time we have two rooms. The first two puzzle attempts are going to be in this first room. So first things first, let's just drop down. You're going to see this big T cross in front of me here. We're going to pull that towards us, turn around and pull the top block over to the other side of the room. Now I'm just gonna push that in the corner so it's nice and snug, and then pull the middle pieces out and then push them to the back wall and then slide them over to the left-hand side to complete this shape. Now we're gonna pull it to the center of the room and now we have a staircase up. We're gonna go ahead and loot a treasure chest up here. Once you do, the, the room will reconfigure itself. I've already completed this, so you won't see that process. But as soon as you've done that, you're gonna have a new exit revealed on the opposite side of the room. So let's go and climb up there. So let's reset the room. Just as we did the first time around, we're gonna pull the same thing, turn around, and we're gonna actually pull both of these blocks over. The bottom one, I'm just gonna straight pull. The top one, I'm going to slide to the right and then pull it to the back corner. Jump across, and I'm going to make these two, this whole set here, nice and snug. Pull out the middle two, and then do the same thing as we did the first time around. Slide it all the way to the back of the room, slide it to the left. It's a weird shape, but that's okay. We're going to do the same thing again, pull it toward the center of the room. Now we're going to take it and pull it towards us. Make sure you're not standing in front of them, by the way. Okay, so now we're going to take the cross again and then just slide that to the left and then do the rest of the pieces and we can now climb up to the top here. As complicated as that puzzle was, this one's going to be a little bit more. So we're going to make it to the other side of the room and we've got quite a bit of moving we're gonna do here. So we're gonna drop down. We're gonna pay a lot of attention to the set of blocks in the back left corner of the room. First thing I'm gonna do is pull them towards me and pull them to the right. I should push it back. I'm not gonna do that step now. I should have, but we'll do it after this next one. So next thing, I'm gonna go to the right hand side of the room. This set of blocks, just pull it into place right there. That's all we're gonna do. Now I'm going to move these two columns, the column right in front of me, but first I have to push that set of blocks back. Now we're gonna take this set of blocks and rotate counterclockwise around the room. Okay, that is now joined up with the first set of blocks. And then I'm going to push those all the way to the back left corner. Now we need to create a land bridge so we can make it across. There happens to be four blocks conveniently located right here. So we're just going to push them back, slide them to the right to connect them. Now all you need to do is slide those that whole thing to the right and then towards you. So towards you or and to the right. Doesn't matter which one you do first. However, you got to do them both. And I forgot one step. So back down, slide it over to the right. There we go. This is not going to be enough to get to the exit. No, you have to push this whole thing back one more time using the Pulso while you're on it to create your path. There you go. If you guys found this video helpful and made it to the end, let me know by hitting the like button and of course, subscribe. See you soon.